I want to talk about charities and donations. Um, I want people to be aware of this because it really annoys me. Um, when Typhoon Haiyan happened, the amount of money flooding into the Philippines was horrendous. That's all I can define it as because it was way too much. Um, but also it never went to the right people, didn't go to the right places. Um, we ended up going to the north of Cebu because it got virtually very little. Um, everything was going to Tacloban, you may have remembered. There was, the, you know, the, the airport was constantly in news. So where do you think everything went for the media coverage? Um, and out there, I knew people that were there. I knew people that um, went looking for a friend of ours. And what you were getting is these parasite charities turning up with the camera crews, getting the old call now, donate now. You know, you see it on TV where they got the really, really annoys me, got the picture of a starving child or something. These people go there and just do that. They're not there delivering their aid. They send people to give you the most, um, heart churning pictures they can find. And most of that money never reaches these people. Uh, and this is why it, it reaches the camera crew people and it reaches the people, the CEOs and everything, but it does not reach the people on the ground. And after years in the Philippines, you can go back to disasters prior to high end because high end still not sorted out. And you can go, there was a big disaster in CDO. They don't really talk about the people hanging themselves and committing suicide because they're still there. Um, they've been left in limbo. They've been put up these um, emergency shelters and the shelters are on other people's land. These people aren't allowed to live there. That's not, that was never allowed in the first place. They weren't supposed to be there long term. But camera crews come in, take these pictures, look at what they're doing. We just built this village, all these tents, great. Let's go now. Let's make as much money as possible. We've uh, churned, churned a load of cash. We're, we're okay till next year. We'll dump these guys now because we've, we've milked them for what we can get. And I hate charities. I really do. Um, I find very few are honest. Now, there's a term me and my friends use, which is direct intervention, because that's what we do. I got hassled by PayPal about it, um, because basically I was doing a age run up to the north of Cebu. I bought several thousand dollars worth of uh, food and supplies, and other friends wanted to help, so they donated money via PayPal. And then PayPal decided to freeze the account, and I told them to shut their account um because it's direct intervention there is no accounting there is nothing because uh basically i just go and buy this stuff i'm not going to sit there and bookkeep um because we're giving it away i'm not there as a business this is the problem today charities are a business they're not there to help people they're there to help the people that create these charities um i remember the guy that wrote the book about uh being in afghanistan with it to do with the school projects and that was proven to be a complete scam um, he was actually using the fundraising from the charity money to fund his book tour um, he was buying, flying the private jet and stuff funded by <laughs> by this uh, charity project for schools that's a charity what I do is direct intervention direct intervention is basically I just go and get the stuff and I just give it to them um, it's, it doesn't always work. I've not had any problems because people know I'm a real pain in the backside and will double check what they did with the stuff I gave them. Um, but direct intervention is the only way to go. Tacloban and Haiyan, money disappear like no tomorrow. Supplies disappear like no tomorrow. But you don't really hear about it. You don't hear people being arrested, do you? Because it's all tied in with the politicians. It's all political theft. Um, and it's not good for charities to talk about the fact that stuff gets stolen. I remember something come up about Ethiopia and the, the rice being sold in the markets and somebody trying to file a court case over it because they don't want you to know that the trucks get held up by militia and then the stuff is then stolen and sold in the market because it makes them look incompetent because they are incompetent. Um, 
that's all I can say on it. A lot of this stuff does not need charities. It needs military intervention. And not in a fighting force, but actually in a distribution. A force that goes in there and says, we're not paying a million dollars tax to bring our trucks into the country because we're actually here on humanitarian and we're taking the trucks with us when we leave. We don't turn around and do that anywhere else. You know, stop feeding the charities. They're a parasite. Um, they're corporate businesses. They're not there to help anybody but themselves. Now, this video's gone on for five minutes. So I'll do another one on sponsorship.